Hi, my name is Leanne Forrest. Welcome to my webinar on Essential Oils 101. Um, if we haven't met yet, I am a holistic health coach and certified essential oils coach. I'm also an author of two books, and you can always find me at groovybeats.com. So I want to just kick it off by talking about, you know, why are we talking about essential oils? And it's simply said that the current healthcare system is broken. You know, we know that the current healthcare system only manages symptoms. You know, we do not get to the root cause of what's going on. And even though we spend more on healthcare than any other nation, we are still the sickest nation on earth. And we know that our food and our environment are not as good as they were 50 years ago. And because of that, toxicity is a real problem. So another sad fact is that our disease rates are all going up. You know, now one in two men and one in three women can expect a cancer diagnosis. And 43% of the children in the United States have a chronic illness. You know, we also know that 6.4 million children have been diagnosed with ADHD and anxiety has become a real issue affecting over 40 million adults alone. Not to mention that 80% of women suffer from hormone imbalance. So it all boils down to epigenetics. Now we've all heard of a, you know, genetics, which is a single gene condition like Down syndrome and there's nothing you can do about it. But in an area of study called epigenetics, we now know that a gene can be controlled through diet and lifestyle and environment. And like I said, toxicity and inflammation are a real issue and it equals immune suppression, okay? We know that 95% of diseases are epigenetic. That means that's good news. We can control them through diet, lifestyle, and environment, right? So let's talk about the wellness lifestyle pyramid. So everything below the dotted line is what we can control. We know that we need to reduce toxic load. You know, we have detox organs like our kidneys and our liver that are meant to detoxify these toxins that we deal with in modern day society. But it's so much now that those organs get, um, get kind of stopped up with these toxins. And so we really need to help out those processes. So we're going to talk about essential oils that can help with that process. We also know that rest and managing stress is important. Um, but, you know, a lot of people struggle with that. And so we are going to talk about essential oils that can help you to get the rest that you need while also managing stress in a healthy way. And then exercise, of course, is important, but a lot of people suffer from fatigue, which prevents them from exercising, or maybe they're suffering from sore muscles and joints, which also is preventative from exercise. So we're going to talk about essential oils that can help, um, you know, help you feel good so you can get the exercise that you need. And then the big one is eating right. We all know we need to eat right, but I always say that you're only as healthy as the nutrients that you can absorb. Um, but the older we get, our digestive processes break down. And so we are gonna talk about essential oils that can help in that process. Also, we're gonna talk about essential oils that can be added to your cooking to help increase the nutrient value of your meat. Okay, so why should we consider essential oils as natural alternatives? Well, simply said, Toxicity and inflammation are caused by chemicals which disrupt our immune system, DNA, and metabolism. Okay, Chemicals also disrupt the respiration of healthy cells and convert them to an anaerobic respiration. So it's important to know that cancer cells are anaerobic. Do you get the connection? There are over 100,000 chemicals in use today in food, personal care, and home products, and 80,000 of them have not been tested for safety in human health. Okay, and again, medications only address symptoms and all of them have side effects. That's why when you go to the pharmacy and get, pick up your medication, you pull out that little insert that nobody reads and they throw it away, you'll see that every medication has side effects. Okay, so just a little bit of background about essential oils, you know, the history of essential oils. They are not a new trend. They are, you know, not just the latest fad, but um, they actually go back thousands of years. Um, probably the early, earliest recording of using essential oils is when they were delivered as frankincense and myrrh to the Christ child. And remember, frankincense, myrrh, and gold were the gifts to the Christ child. So they were revered as, as important as gold. And then Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, also used essential oils in his practice. And then they were, again, used in the 1940s during the war to help wounded soldiers. So those are just a few examples of how essential oils have been used in history. So. If you're new to essential oils, then I'll just break it down and kind of start with, you know, what are essential oils? So essential oils are natural aromatic compounds that are extracted and distilled from plants for health benefits. 
They are 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs, and they truly are affordable. You know, you, they are really pennies per dose if you consider the fact that the therapeutic value of one drop of peppermint essential oil equals the same therapeutic value that you'll get after drinking 28 cups of peppermint tea. And so here's really a great image where you have the peppermint leaf on the left side and that same peppermint leaf is blown up underneath a microscope on the right side. And those white things are the oil sacs where the essential oils come from. So if you were to run your hand along that peppermint leaf, you would pop the oil sacs and your hand would smell like peppermint. Okay. So it's good to know that oils penetrate the cell membrane to combat threats without building up resistance. You know, we all have heard that antibiotic resistance is a big thing right now. And it's good to know that antibiotics cannot penetrate the cell membrane. So for instance, if you go to the doctor and he says you have a viral infection, antibiotics will not work against a viral infection. Okay. So symptoms are just indicators that something is going on at a deep le deeper level and essential oils work with the body to address issues and root causes on a cellular level. Now we do have to be careful because there are different grades of essential oils. So you really have to know what you're doing. First, you have the synthetic oils, which are really those truly toxic chemical fragrances. The personal care products law has not been updated since 1938. So there's a lot of loopholes as to what the manufacturers can put in the bottle and sell to you. And that one word fragrance on the ingredients can mean up to 3000 different chemicals. Okay, then you have um, cooking extracts and flavorings that are used in foods such as peppermint patties. And so even though, you know, when you eat a peppermint patty, the chocolate might give you some sort of therapeutic value that but the peppermint oil is not going to provide any health benefits. And then you have the word therapeutic, which is kind of like equivalent to putting the word natural on a loaf of bread or something in the grocery store. It's really not regulated. It's just a marketing term. And it leads to a lot of misleading label claims and compromised quality. So that's why we need to consider certified pure therapeutic grade. Okay, to be CPTG, the oils need to be harvested at the right time for therapeutic and medicinal properties. Okay. So, um, you know, you can harvest strawberries <laughs> during the winter. I could go to the grocery store right now and buy them in the middle of winter, but they're not going to have the nutrient value as strawberries grown in season, right? And then the essential oils have to be distilled at the right time for the therapeutic properties to be at the highest. So Melissa essential oil is a very um, precious oil and it has a lot of health benefits, but it's a very short window between the time it's harvested and the time it's distilled to keep those therapeutic markers high. If it's distilled outside of that window, then the therapeutic markers go down. And then really important is that they, you have to have indigenous sourcing for the highest potency. Indigenous sourcing, you have to get the plants where the plants grow naturally. So for instance, blueberries, um, you know, blueberries, wild blueberries could grow everywhere, but conventional blueberries, they have a lower therapeutic value than wild blueberries, right? Same thing goes with lavender. I can grow lavender in my backyard in Texas, but they're not, it's not going to have the same potency as lavender grown in France where lavender grows naturally. And then lastly, you, for certified pure therapeutic grade, you have to have third party testing. This gives you complete trust that the essential oil company is um, not doing their own testing. You know, you want to keep it separate from the essential oil company that's selling you the oils and have a lab doing the testing that doesn't have any financial ties to the essential oil company in order to verify that the oils are pure, free from fillers, pesticides, and other contaminants. And just FYI, you want your oils to be better than organic. You can go to a, a grocery store and buy organic oils, but they're going to be diluted with fractionated coconut oil many of the times. And so they're not going to be potent or medicinal for you to, to give you the therapeutic benefits that you're looking for. Okay, so that's why I choose to work with doTERRA and I choose doTERRA for my family. Okay, so doTERRA has set a new standard for purity with CPTG in response to unregulated essential oil standards that limits uses and benefits. They do have the world's highest quality of essential oils because they are verified, pure, and safe. They have complete transparency. When you buy a bottle of essential oils from doTERRA, there will be a batch number on the bottom of the oil that you could look up online on a third party website, testing website, 
that will, you can see the exact test results of potency and purity for that bottle that you own. Okay, so now we're going to move on to ways to use essential oils, and there are three ways specifically. First, you can use essential oils aromatically. So just simply using a, a diffuser and diffusing them in your home is a simple and safe way to get started. And when you use them aromatically, you can use them to affect your mood or clean your indoor air, which we now know is 10 times more toxic than our outdoor air, right? And you can also use them aromatically to support breathing. You can also use essential oils internally as supplements. Now, I would definitely not do this with anything that you just bought off the grocery store shelf because you don't know how they're sourced, where they came from, or what's in that bottle. And I would definitely work with a certified essential oils coach before you do this. But just to let you know that if you're using certified um, pure therapeutic grade essential oils, there are many that can be used um, internally by just adding them to your water, dropping them under your tongue, or putting them in a capsule. And when you do this, you can use them to nourish the whole body. Okay. And then lastly, you can use essential oils topically. And this is really powerful. Um, one drop of essential oil can service every cell in your body. And when you put them on the bottom of your feet, it nourishes your bloodstream within 30 seconds. And your feet actually, according to the laws of reflexology, your feet are connected to every organ in your body through nerve lines, okay? So you could apply essential oils to your feet also if you're sensitive or have sensitive skin. And there, it's also a great way to use oils with kids, okay? So I'm now going to go over the top 10 most popular essential oils and essential oil blends and how to use them for your health. And again, these are going to be doTERRA essential oils, which I recommend and I use for my family. Okay, so first is lemon essential oil, which is a very popular essential oil to get started with and so easy to use. I call this one my purifier because it's really known for its cleansing and purifying properties, not only for your home in your air, indoor air in your home, but for your body. So I put um, one to three drops in my drinking water every day, and you could also use it in a diffuser to cleanse your indoor air. Or I also like to use it in a DIY spray bottle to spray my countertops and surfaces. Okay, and then there's peppermint. So peppermint is an amazing essential oil. It's a very cooling oil. And so for that reason, um, a lot of women that have gone through menopause love this oil to apply to the back of their neck. And this also is a great oil for healthy respiratory function. It helps to calm stomach and head tension. And like I said, it cools the body. Peppermint essential oil is also, um, I use it as a zero calorie natural stimulant because it's a very energizing oil. So I put one drop in my water and I think it's better than coffee. <laughs> and I also love to diffuse it next to my computer when I have a lot to do. All right, and then there's lavender. So lavender is for everything soothing and for skin and for sleep. And so a lot of people use this to support sleep. You can diffuse it by your bed or put a couple drops on your pillowcase or put it on the bottom of your feet. You could use it for a great detox um, bath to wind down. Um, you can also put it in your moisturizer. So it's great for skin health and it also is everything calming, okay? And then frankincense. So frankincense is known as the king of oils. And this one, I could teach a whole class on frankincense. It has so many uses, um, but my husband loves to use this one both internally, topically, and aromatically to support healthy cellular function. It also has anti-aging properties and hormone balancing properties. So you could use it in your moisturizer. Um, you can also, uh, diffuse it by your bed. So there's so many uses for frankincense. We always say, when in doubt, use frankincense. Okay, melaleuca. It's also known as tea tree oil. Okay, so melaleuca is a great one to add to your shampoo to nourish your scalp. So um, when lice is going around, you know, my daughter's school, I'll put a few drops into her shampoo, you know, or something like that. It's also great to use topically to nourish skin. And so it is an anti- um, fungal and antibacterial and antiviral essential oil. So it helps to soothe skin, mouth ear irritations. I like to use this one on a cotton ball. I'll put it in my um, pantry when my kids leave open the cereal box and I get pantry pests. Or when my son comes home with smelly football gear, I'll put a couple of drops into the fabric softener area of the, of the washer in order to uh, make the clothes smell better. 
and then oregano. Okay, so oregano is a very powerful oil that um, is a hot oil, but you don't need to be scared. It's known for its cleansing and rejuvenating effects on the skin. It helps to promote a healthy immune function and also protects against environmental and seasonal threats. So when something's going around, you know, at, at different times of year, this is a great one to diffuse, um, maybe as a blend with other oils. Oregano actually comes from the oregano spice, so you could also cook with it. It's very, very strong though. So even one drop in a vat of pasta sauce might be enough, or even putting just a toothpick and dipping it in your oregano essential oil and then putting it in your pasta sauce will give you just enough of the nutrients that you need. Okay, and so now we're gonna move on to the blends. So breathe is called the respiratory blend. And it's just what you think. It helps to promote feelings of easy breathing. So this is one that you could diffuse at night for healthy and restful breathing. And you could also apply two to three drops on your chest and the bottom of your feet as needed for a soothing sensation. Okay, and then deep blue. I love this blend. It's called the soothing blend. And this one's purely for topical use for muscle and joint relief. And so you could apply it before or after exercise or use it for a deep tissue massage. And it's good to note that it comes not only in the drip bottle, but the roller bottle as well as a lotion. And then on guard. So this one smells amazing because it has a blend of wild orange, clove, cinnamon, and rosemary. And um, this one is effective for immune support. So I also diffuse this one, you know, when the kids are in school and there's a lot going around in the school, then I'll diffuse it to cleanse the indoor air. You could also add it, use it internally. You can add two to three drops in a veggie capsule for a quick immune boost, or you can help to support the body's natural antioxidant defenses. And I also love to rub it on the bottom of my kids' feet when you know school is going. So, whoops. Okay, so digest zen. This one aids in the digestion of foods. And so this one also comes in a soft gel as well as a drip bottle that you could take and travel with. Um, it soothes the occasional stomach upset. It helps reduce bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion. So it, it contains a blend of all essential oils to support a healthy digestion. And even though we know that essential oils are great for humans, they can also be used for your pets. And so I teach a whole class on essential oils for pets. So I'm not going to get into it too much in this webinar, but just know that when you use them for pets, you definitely want to work with somebody who knows what they're doing, um, but you always want to heavily dilute with fractionated coconut oil. Start with a small amount. Observe your pet after use and care for each animal differently. Apply to their paws. Okay, never use them near the eyes, mouth, nose, or other sensitive areas. And then use the oils. Um, don't never use the oils that can cause burning, such as peppermint, or that are high in phenols like oregano, clove, wintergreen, and thyme. And you never use citrus, oil, citrus oils or administer them internally, and you never use them on young animals. But again, you'll definitely want to work with somebody who can help you with this. Okay, so doTERRA. So why doTERRA? Why did I choose doTERRA as a holistic health coach for my practice and for my family? And it's simply put, certified pure therapeutic grade is what I was looking for. When I was with another essential oil company before I discovered doTERRA, my husband was going through a health crisis and I wanted the most potent and pure essential oils that I could use for his health and to support his health and his healing. And that essential oil company, when I called them for their test results on their oils, they said, sorry, we don't give those out. But doTERRA that does have transparency. You can look at the test results. They are pure. They're 100% natural. No artificial ingredients, fragrances, or filters. They're safe, free of pesticides and other chemical residues, and they're potent. Okay, so they are meant to be therapeutic for health benefits to the body. And then I think this is great information that doTERRA really is changing the future of healthcare. They are partnering with physicians and hospitals around the world to define and establish the medical integration and use of essential oils in modern health. And in 2019, this year, they are starting to um, open medical clinics around the U.S., essential oil medical clinics. So that is just great news. So you might be sitting there thinking, you know, I could really see how I could use these in my family, family's um, daily plan. And I would love to you know, make over my medicine cabinet and detoxify my personal care products and use them in my water. And so if you're sitting there thinking that you would like to get started with essential oils or learn more about how to 
how to get involved, then I'm here to help you. I'm your certified essential oils coach, your, your oil guru. So I love to educate people, but this is how you get started. Okay, so first, there are several ways to buy. First, you could buy retail. That's the worst way because who wants to pay retail? It's the most expensive. And then secondly, you could buy wholesale. So wholesale, you know, doTERRA is a membership company like Costco. You essentially pay $35 for your membership, and then that gives you 25% off all their products. And then when you re-enroll, it's only $25, and then you get a free peppermint on re-enrollment, so it's kind of a wash. Um, but the best way to get started is to get a starter kit, and that's how most people get started um, because then the $35 is waived, and every oil in the kit is below wholesale cost. And the top 10 oils are in almost every kit. And so there is a kit for every budget. So the one kit that I'm going to, you know, just highlight right here is the Home Essentials Kit because it really is the best seller. The Home Essentials Kit contains all of the top 10 oils and blends that I just educated you on. And it also comes with a free four hour diffuser. And so this one is $275. It comes in the bigger bottles, which are 250 drops. And when you consider that a serving is one to two drops, then you really are getting your money's worth. It's $86 off of retail price. Okay, so when you work with me as your certified essential oils coach, I love to give lots of education and gifts. First, you'll get a pers personal wellness consult from me, which will be either by phone or video chat, you can choose. And I'll teach you how to use your brand new kit and exactly how you need to use it for your particular health needs, okay? And how to use it safely and effectively for your family. And then I also provide a 21 day essential oil training e-course. Okay, so for 21 days, you'll get another video on how to use the top 10 oils that I just went over and give you lots more uses um, for those oils. And then I also provide a support Facebook Facebook group so that you could ask questions and get product support um, advice, but you're always welcome to reach out to me individually too. And then I give you a free essential oils how-to guide. This is not just a little guide. This is a 415 page book, but it's so easy because it's referenced by health, health need and what essential oils to use for every health need that you can come up with. And then along with this, all these gifts, I also give you a free essential oils uh, roller bottles as well as fractionated coconut oil so that you could get started making your own blends and you never have to fear because I'll teach you how to make them I'll, we'll talk about it on our personal wellness console and I'll give you lots of videos to show you how to get started with making your own blends so that's it for me and I really want to um, thank you for coming to my webinar if you have any more questions you can always feel free to reach out to me at leanne at groovybeats.com but if you're ready to get started then you can go ahead and click on the link below this video. Thanks for coming.